are in the central area of Rio de Janeiro and we are going to visit a place that every tourist who comes here cannot miss. This place is Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa is a historic neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro that originated in the 19th century as a residential area for the city's elite. Over the years, the neighborhood became an important place for artists and the development of the city's culture, recognized for its colonial architecture and numerous slopes like snake through the mountains of the region. And look who's coming. That's the Santa Teresa tram. Soon we will introduce it to you and take you on a tram ride. Shall we explore a little of the winding streets of this place? Now let's walk through Largo dos Gamaras, which is the heart of Santa Teresa. It is surrounded by charming bars and restaurants that offer a variety of Brazilian and international cuisine. The place is quite busy, especially on weekends when tourists and locals gather to enjoy good food, music, and the relaxed atmosphere of the neighborhood. Now let's visit the Ruins Park. The park houses the ruins of a mansion that belonged to the visual artist Lorinda Santos Lobo, who hosted important names from Brazilian culture in the early 20th century. Currently, the park is a cultural space that promotes exhibitions, theatrical and musical performances, as well as workshops. This is another important tourist spot in Santa Teresa, located on top of a hill. From here, we have a spectacular panoramic view of the city. Did you hear that sound? It's because I have a 360 degrees photo of this place as a gift for you. Finally, the cellar and steps. Yeah. 
This place is incredible and art is in the air here. It is one of the most visited attractions in Santa Teresa. It was created by the Chilean artist Jorge Celerin, who transformed a 215-step staircase into a colorful and vibrant work of art. The staircase is composed of about 2,000 hand-painted tiles, donated by people from over 60 countries. It has become a very popular tourist attraction, serving as a backdrop for various film shoots and photo shoots. And do you know who we're going to meet now? The Santa Teresa Tram, which passes over the Lapa Arches. You can get there from the city center by taking a VLT ride. Do you know this place? No? Watch our first video that we recorded here. You'll love it. The tram is one of the most famous attractions in the neighborhood. Inaugurated in 1896, it is the last remnant of the old electric trams that circulated around Rio de Janeiro. And judging by the line, you can imagine how worthwhile the attraction is. The approximately 15-minute journey takes passengers from Largo de Carioca in the center to Largo dos Gamares, passing through several steep and narrow streets. During the ride, it's possible to have an incredible panoramic view of the city. Now enjoy the ride and the wonderful view you'll have of the city.
The Arcos de Lapa, located near the Santa Teresa neighborhood in the upper part and Lapa in the lower part dash, are also an important tourist attraction of the city. Nowadays, the arches have the noble mission of guarding the history of Rio de Janeiro and are, undoubtedly, one of the main postcards of the city. If you are visiting Rio de Janeiro, be sure to include Santa Teresa in your itinerary. Did you enjoy the tour? What other places in Brazil would you like to visit? We post a new video every week, and maybe your request can be fulfilled. Comment there if you liked it and tell us if you want the photos in 360 degrees. It's free! Give us a like to motivate us to create more content showcasing beautiful places in Brazil. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications to be notified of our next amazing video. Big hug and see you there!